pit pit stop it's a pit stop pit 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 stop it's it's a pit stop pit 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 stop it's a pit stop pit stop pit stop pit stop and keeping our Purple Pants podcast pit stop coverage, Brooke and I are sad, but so very excited to talk to one of our favorite teams, Anna Lee and Steve. Welcome to the Purple Pants podcast. How are you guys feeling today? Hey, we weren't uh, supposed to talk to y'all till I'm next impressed. week, but yeah, well, we got here a little early. That's the best answer ever, by the way. I like that. I didn't want to talk to you next week either, honestly. I don't know if you have heard or seen the podcast if you haven't I will let you know. if you have you know but if you haven't I will let you know you are amongst friends and amongst major major fans Annalie I have said nothing about you all season except for the fact that I think you have just first of all been so wrongly like called out by Facebook but more than that that you are just legitimately the biggest badass this season has had I called you from day one the little spider monkey who just like started flying through things without any issue and I have let me corrected people on the things that they said and the way that they have responded because I don't believe any is true. And Steve, I have called you the hero of multiple episodes. You are just drop that spider monkey. Remind me of my father. That first challenge I saw her go across that wire and I thought, oh shit, I hope I don't have to do that. And she moved, she booked across there like a squirrel. No, all you have to do is river dance, which by the way, just <laughs> Yeah, dad, dad killed it. Yeah, I don't know about killing it. I might have killed it. I might not ever want to see it. Annalie, you've been, you've been such a, a, you've killed this season so much, right, Annalie? And everyone's been so scared of you. But honestly, Steve, I feel like you've become everyone in America's father. The fact that you never gave up and you always were right there behind her, even when you had to, you know, argue a little bit, just like what parents and their children do. But how does it feel to be embraced by the world as like, you're our dad now, Steve, we're family? That's that's a great side of it, but the bad side of it is the flack that she's getting with it. Even last night on last night's episode, if you go back and watch it, I'm in front of her running, and they're saying, "Come on, Dad! Come on, Dad!" It's like, okay, y'all have overplayed that a little bit. But, <laughs> I mean, I, as someone who I, I, I can relate, they will find one thing that you do or that you say, and they turn it into your whole identity. So I just uh, <laughs> you are fantastic and such a joy to have watched both of you and Steve I I always joke around I joked around a lot and said it must be hard for like the more physically fit person on a team because it wasn't me either I don't know if you saw our season I was the Steve of my team where my partner was like come on <laughs> come on come on speed up so, it's so difficult I know that you can just tell all you wanted to do was be there for her you would have killed over and died before you were going to oh, give up so definitely. you know my brain's telling me the whole time you got it you got it go 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 and then Corey goes by me <laughs> no i don't got it no more <laughs> annalee one of my it's most hard favorite... sometimes when your body doesn't keep up with your brain so i i get that I grew up fast my whole right, life right. I've been, uh, you know i've been quick i've been fast i played football in every sport i think that one of the biggest awards i got in school was was running and it's gone now i can tell you that uh, next time I'll train a little harder. You made it. You made it eleven legs of the amazing race. It's not gone now. You hung for about as long as you can hang for. So, you That's still right. got it. Annalie, one of my most iconic moments this season was unfortunately when they guys you turned you because you were the biggest threat and we all saw it. But for me, the most redeeming part of it all was when you got with the other teams and you said, "Was it you? Was it you? Was it? like we love that." What were you thinking in that moment? <laughs> I, I, at that point, that's when I was like, all right, there's some people they're they're ready to play now. Like now the game has begun and I was looking to see who was going to be on my side and who wasn't. So. I could actually hear her when I was working on the Peacocks and I heard, her, all right, which one of you goes, you turned us and Joel immediately says, I did. <laughs> well, you got to appreciate the honesty as oh, opposed to God. what you got from the ladies from Philly who were like. Really? I know that's hilarious. The fact that we saw it for the first time, oh, they, kept their, they kept their mouth they shut. They kept their mouth shut. That's funny. Did you guys feel, was there anything that you felt? I'm sure there were a couple of things. Forget the moment you were eliminated, but is there anything that you wish that the people had seen or anything you were like, oh, I'm so sad that they aired this because it was just a moment of, I wish they hadn't showed? 
the the barnacles, you know, scraping the barnacles. We had so much fun. We, you know, we'd laugh at each other in those wet there were suits. So many times, we and laughed. we were dancing to you know Beyonce's video. That we looked like all the single had. ladies. We were calling <laughs> it Mermaid Me and a Barnacle Boy. We were crying, laughing. Just the good times. You know the the funny parts that we had. We were cracking up, there laughing some, at each even, other. Even him dancing with the River Dancers. At one point, he got um like one of his fails was because his SpongeBob undies were hanging out the side, and he was dancing with SpongeBob's face hanging out the side. I was crying laughing. Why didn't we see that? <laughs> and then every I know, single but funny, America didn't need to see that. <laughs> but every single funny, like true, like true depiction of what our relationship is really like that we have, they didn't show one of them. And so I feel like our, it made us seem like we've got this like the poor dynamic, but like he's my best friend and he always will be. And I just feel like no one really got to see the true side of us. You know, they missed funny things. Like, I, I bailed out of that car at that stadium last night, and I don't know what I hit, but I rolled it across the car. Right. She starts laughing. He looked like a bowling ball. And then rolling. an hour later, she's got that map in her hand running down the street, and I got in front of her. That's when they were playing. Come on, Dad, I was in front. And also, I heard this bang. I turned, she ran right to the bowling and you know we rolled and laughed about that it was i mean there were so many funny light-hearted moments that just weren't shown and for that it makes me really sad i hear but, that i joke around uh, bryce knows that i say that my happy was sucked out so i think that you know it's a, there's so much that they could show and that they don't show and sometimes i think you know you're portrayed in a way that um, they have a story for you for america and you could Thank tell, you, you could tell very, very much that the love that you had was very deep and that yes. you guys were just very, very close. And it was never, look, they show a Rob and a Corey and they, I'm curious to see if they ever fought ever once in their life, but you guys were very realistic. You, I applied once with my dad. This is the dynamic that we would have had, not because I was unhappy or unsatisfied with how he was doing, but because that's just how, it, come on, dad, you got this. And yeah. and dad was like, I've got this, I've got this. Like, it was just, there was so much love there and you could see it. And I'm so sad that you're not going to be there next I week. About this. Nobody yeah. can hear, nobody gets to hear what Corey's saying to Rob. He could have been saying, come on, dad, the whole time and sign. And I wouldn't know it because I couldn't hear it. Right. That's true. <laughs> Is there a favorite Although movie I think it was Rob that probably you to have growing up that you guys watched together? I would love to know, like, what's a favorite movie that you guys watched together uh, when you were growing up, Anna Lee? Favorite movie? Ooh. Waterboy? Uh, <laughs> Bobby Boucher. I like to laugh. <laughs> I like Bobby, Bobby Boucher. Bobby, that's you know, kind of when we got our same for the race. If you ain't first, you're last. That's exactly what we said on the race. Yeah. Ricky Bobby. I love it. I like Annalise's mentality. Um, I made a joke at the beginning that my family said, if you don't win the money, don't come home, which was clearly not true. My parents weren't saying don't come home, but people grabbed onto it. And I feel like you have such a competitive spirit. Um, do you, is, is that something that you got from Steve? Steve, did you pass that on to Annalise? Did she drag you to the race? Was this your idea? How did, how did it all? So it was all her idea to go on the race. I'm competitive, but it would be, you know, one-on-one -on -one sports. Like I said, I, I played football and, and the things that I've done in my past are competitive, but I would never dream of putting together a tape, sending it in, auditioning for a TV show. I mean, who does that? You know, it's these obscure people you never, you know what? And, I, and she's the one that started that. When they started calling. He was uh, like, what'd you get me into? Yeah, I just, right. I would say, I'll go along with this till we get bumped out of the process. I had no idea it was going to get so real so quick. And I'm so glad it did. I mean, it's documented for the rest of our lives. So we got it. We've got the memories, and yeah, it was, it was really. And cool. I'll buy you guys a copy of your DVD when it comes out on DVD because you'll want to keep that forever. Oh, I will yeah. say one of the most heartwarming things from last night um, was when you guys got to the mat, and it was all over. And just to watch you two dance off together, which is, I was, I Bryce is normally the one about to cry, but <laughs> when he calls me, it's sad. But last <laughs> night, I I have to say, I called him immediately when the show was over, and I was like. I've said that Steve reminds me of my dad. Bryce says it's like if him and his mom were going on the race. I, I, you guys had me tearing up. The relationship between you two is absolutely lovely to watch. Um, we cannot wait to meet you in person. I'm excited to see you guys next week. But it was I, I, danced, yeah. I, danced, I danced my whole life, and I met my wife dancing, and we've danced for 30 years of marriage. Yeah, and I made sure I always yeah. got my girls with me too. Yes. So I've always got a dancing partner. But it's sliding again. It's not hopping. <laughs>
or it's river dancing. You were quite good at it. I have to say, I underestimated you last night. I didn't expect it in one shot, but I I didn't expect you to necessarily get out of there before Joel. And you nailed it. He, I mean, to watch you and the movement, and you got up there, and it was it was really really fast. It's one of the I I think it's one of the hardest dance challenges the race has ever done. And to watch you do it so meticulously in like six tries is incredible. So just I girl was great. That. She was so sweet. You know, on stage, she was whispering, you know, I kept hearing her talk out of the side of my mouth, grab my hand. Like, okay, you got me. As long as you got me, then I'm good. That's, it. It's uh, so amazing to talk to you too. Uh, Brooke is from Amazing Race. Clearly, I'm from Survivor. We know what it's like to get that edit when you're watching. And it's like you know, kind of like almost sucks your joy out. But I really just want to encourage you, Steve and Anna Lee, especially you, Anna Lee, that I know it's not what you thought it would be, but honestly, the way that you've touched our hearts, people see you, people see the shining star that you are. And I really just want to encourage you to know that you are that girl. If nobody has told you today, I just want to make sure that you focus on the positive. It's easy to focus sometimes on the negative stuff. It could be a million, we love you. And you see that one thing and it kind of like just makes you so mad, but try your best to focus on that positive thing because truly you two were so amazing. You were so fear, like, I mean, you, you're the world. And so I just hope that you know that, Anna Lee. And if you oh, find perfect. someone who's focusing on the negative, you send them my way and yeah. I will set them straight. Yeah. It's crazy. All, all, you know, all you hear these days is strong women. We want the women's movement and they see one and that population of people freak out and say she's different. It's like, no, she's a strong woman. I can get her in check if I need to. That's true. But just and because you did. independent and successful, that, I, it, jealousy is what I call it. So. Fear. What I hear you. Thing is, um, some of the cast members have messaged me and they know us and they got to race with us and those separate messages are what mean more to me than all the other people who don't know us because knowing that the cast members that we actually race with love us and love who we are and saw our relationship that's like that's what sticks with me so good. that we saw it too and there are plenty of people out there who saw it too so Bryce is right and I'm I get it it's it's hard to push out the negative but you two were I mean I probably unfairly spoke about you guys so so much positively but because we're supposed to you know not a favorites and be, I, I don't care because you were I mean you were and you're right we probably weren't supposed to speak to you until next week because I expected completely to see you in the end I expect thoroughly to see you again um whether Steve wants to or not I expect to see you on there again <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Whatever. I'm and if it's not the amazing race, we'll get. We we'll have a petition to get you on the challenge, Annalie. We're gonna get I, you somewhere. Do that in a heartbeat. I think that that's where uh, competition's allowed. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, get ready, Annalie, because I know that call is coming. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you too. We hope that we'll get to meet you very soon. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for y'all support. Thank you, Bye, guys. Of course. Pit, 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 stop. It's a pit, stop. Pit, pit, stop. It's, it's a pit.